Hello YouTube, we're here with the Kami Guide. I'm gonna get you a speed run to Diamond, okay? I'll show you some of the things that I did, you know, to beat some of the worst players and things that still work against good players and uh, everything in between. I'm gonna go over things that'll happen a lot in a match, kind of your strategy, your set play, how to snowball a win. I'm not gonna talk about all of our combos and everything you're gonna do because I'm sure there's a million videos about that. I'll talk about the ones that are like very, very common. Uh, let's start with a very common option. You might get a bunch of jabs into spiral arrows. So spiral arrow in general, you wanna think of it as like a win condition, not, not literally, but every time you hit a spiral arrow, that's when you're, you're, it's your turn to snowball. So it could be three jabs. It could be, you know, something like this. And in this case, you would do a heavy spiral arrow. In the jab case, you would do mediums. And what you want to do is you always want to dash after, dash forward. I mean, you can also drive, drive rush, but I will, like, we'll save that for a more advanced guide because she doesn't need to spend, right? She's one of the few characters that gets really good pressure without having to spend bar. So we dash up and look at this. Boom, we're plus eight in your face. We got a heavy spiral arrow, we're like plus 11, right? Crazy. So they just have to respect you pretty much. It's, it's up to them to guess. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you can even, so you can uh, dash up and you can grab them, right? Sometimes even if they mash, your grab will still hit because you're just that plus, right? Um, so then they'll start respecting you. What happens when people respect you? Uh, let's make him block after first hit. The main go-to I like to do is crouching heavy punch. Why? It's her only special, it's her only normal that's plus on block, right? It's plus one. Um, so being plus one isn't crazy, but it's good enough because I'll show you here. Because um, if he mashes and you do crouch jab, you'll counter hit him, which now combos into crouch medium punch, and you just loop the scenario all over again. Like that. Um, and if they don't, you do this on block, and they don't want to press anything, you now play like a strike throw, right? You could do this and walk off and try to shimmy them. You do this and walk, take a step and grab. You do this into jab. Notice that they didn't uh, press a button, you know, and maybe go for cross up. I don't know. But it's a very good scenario to make someone block this. It's an even better scenario to hit it, obviously. So let's make him not block. Sometimes you'll just straight up hit it because, you know, they tech the grab. They, they try to tech a grab and then you combo it into medium punch, into spiral arrow, and you loop this. This whole spiral arrow scenario where you hit someone with a spiral arrow and you dash in their face is something you want to snowball off because almost all of your hits can like lead to this and it just it snowballs and it snowballs and now they're guessing can i tech the throw or not what happens when you get the throw cammy's only plus 17 this is not great plus 17 is it's slower than her dash so you can never dash forward even in the corner um you can drive rush though um and this is what i like to do with drive rush here is when i assume that they Wake up reversal, crouch light punch. If I assume they mash or something, I'll just do crouch medium punch. Like that, and you'll always counter hit. It's plus 11, okay? You can combo after this if you hit confirm it. I did it way too slow. Make sure you get your dry rushes quick. Why am I doing it so bad? I just switched to leverless, so I'll probably drop some things in general. Right, you can get a standing heavy punch, you can get a crouching medium kick. Crouch meaning kicks all safer if you don't want to like actually confirm it. You get the spiral arrow and you loop. All right, you do the whole dash up thing again. In the corner, you do not need to spend bar. You could just walk up to someone. He's, look, he's gonna jab me on wake up, okay? And I'm bad. But you walk up a bit, probably like halfway up to them, and you just keep. You can loop this. I've had games in diamond, okay, against like really good players. All right, you just get this four or five times in a row. You'll see this all the time in Street Fighter V back when throw loops existed. Um, so sometimes people will start respecting them. Then you start going for the crouch heavy punch that we talked about earlier. Or you or you even shimmy, right? Let's say he did a wake up grab. You walk forward, you walk back. Boom. Um, so yeah, this is a very, very good scenario when you have someone cornered. Make sure you take advantage of when you throw someone. Same with mid screen, right? Don't be scared to use one bar here. You get so much corner carry and then, you know, you can almost end the game off like such a easy scenario okay that's a lot of the kind of pressure when you actually hit someone let's talk about let's talk about anti-airing and eating fireballs and then her, her best like with punishes all right so we'll talk about fireballs first easiest thing for me i like is ex um knuckle you get a full combo off it like that and then you know spiral do your thing um you can also dive kick uh, I'm really bad at doing a dive kick on Leverless. 
I like to I like to use the EX dive kick the most because of the rest are with heavy is doable. But it feels like you have to like see like I I tried to do that as if I reacted to the fireball like I didn't do it knowing he would do it I tried to do it a bit late that time I did it super early but yeah I like to use the X if you're gonna go for this um, but if you're trying to raw react I, I like spin knuckle the best the other thing I like doing the best is Cammy's level three goes through fireballs this has been a thing in like every Street Fighter game and people have to respect you right when you're on three bars as Cammy people are scared to throw their fireballs so even at this range like I've hit people. At this range, because you know they did crouch medium kick or whatever, and it, you know they're gonna cancel. Um, so use that. Like that's something that you'll close out a lot of games with against, you know, not as great players and more better players will start respecting it. But even if they respect it, that's huge. If people are scared to throw a fireball here, and you're playing Cami, she's like such a good walker. You just walk them down to the corner. You get free dive kicks because they're just like waiting for you. I don't know. It, it's just the threat of it is a big deal against players who actually like realize that they can't throw fireballs. And then sometimes even those good players will test your reaction. And uh, if they're good enough, maybe you'll beat them. Especially if you're on modern. If you're on modern, then you're just gonna shit on everyone with it. Uh, level 3 and through their fireballs. Uh, let's talk about her anti airs really quickly. So uh, she has about three big ones you're gonna use the most. Um, did I not say that? So back medium punch is good. If you dash in their face after, you're plus. You can play like a strike throw game with them. You know, you grab them, shimmy them. If they, if sh I think shimming is really good in this scenario against a lot of players, especially um, until you like work your way up to the high ranks. Because people just kind of mash grab in this situation a lot. Why? Or they DP and shimmy beats both. Um, so yeah, that's that's a good option. Another option you're obviously can use all the time is her DP. Um, her DP, you can get pressure only if you drive rush, and it's kind of the same scenario as the throw. And that's the last one we're gonna talk about, which is my personal favorite, but it's kind of awkward to use against some characters. See there, I did it like a little too early. I noticed Ken's heavy punch is really hard. I feel like I always lose, even if I'm like trying to time it in a different way. Same with Marissa's uh, heavy kick. But the reason I love this one so much is the reward is just insane. Let's so say you get this, you know, you can do Spiral arrow if you're not bad. You can even charge a DP. I mean, I charge that. But the big thing is you could do her level one and her level three. Off of anti -air. Okay, that's kind of insane. Um, so yeah, I, I love doing this. There's so many rounds I closed out where I'm kind of using her pokes that this kind of makes people want to jump. Not that one. You know, her standing heavy kick or standing medium kick. Just in general, you know, her walk speed's really good. So people, sometimes they get scared. They, they want to jump at you. And you just win the whole game off an anti -air. It's kind of insane. Uh, you could also do her level one. Even on the trade, by the way. I didn't do that on purpose, but I might as well show it. Um, and yeah, so what, well, that's pretty much all the main things I wanted to talk about. Let's talk a little bit about using her meter. Now, the thing about Cammy is that you can use her meter for big uh, combos in the corner. Like, it actually doesn't have to be corner action. Uh, very easily. All you have to do is you drive rush into crouch heavy kick, or crouch heavy punch, which stands people up, and you do um back heavy kick into charging a spiral arrow it looks like this and you can do level one or level three but i'm a leverless noob right, you can do both um if you're cornered and you don't want to cross up right so this crosses cami up because the uh, charged spiral arrow instead of doing this all you're gonna do is you're gonna drive rush into back heavy kick. Now this is a little harder because they have to be standing. So sometimes you might have to use uh, two drive rushes so you can get the crouching heavy punch first. Again, this is only if you're gonna kill someone you wanna spend all your bar, but it looks something like this. And, and this and this scenario, like, you don't cross them up. So even though you burnt yourself out, you actually don't have to burn yourself out, by the way. There's like, you now people know the secrets that you can do extra drive rushes uh it's pretty easy with cami because as you if you see her crouching heavy punch it's plus 11 right after drive rush whereas her standing heavy punch is only eight frames you can walk between those three frames and she'll get her meter back even a sliver but that's enough to do an extra drive rush right so i'll show you an example here uh let me make them block after the first hit i mess this up sometimes um, 
like that. That's the idea, but uh... Alright, I got it this time, okay. See? Um, you wanna walk- you wanna walk up just a bit after the crouching heavy punch? And now you get a third drive rush. See that? Uh, that's advanced stuff. I don't even know why I talked about it. Wasting my time. Um, but yeah, I hope you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscription. Let me know other things you want to learn about Cammy. There's a lot of things that she can do. I actually think she's a super fun character. When I first started playing her, like, uh, yesterday morning, I, was, I wasn't too happy. I thought Street Fighter V Cammy was a little more fun. Uh, I really don't like how some of her normals drive her forward. I'm not a big fan of this. Oh yeah, let's talk quickly about her normals. Uh, so yeah, as I just said, this move brings you forward. Look how far we are, right? Pretty hard to reach for a lot of characters. I press this move and I whiff. We're now in jab range. Um, that, didn't, that wasn't the case in Street Fighter V, but they nerfed her. Uh, I don't know if they nerfed her. They nerfed that move. Sweep's the same. Look how far we are. I sweep. Now we're close. So you, it's, Some of these moves on Kami are too risky to whiff. This move obviously moves you forward. I don't know why you'd use it. If you know a use for that move, let me know. Uh, I don't like this move. So the main moves you're going to use in neutral, I think, are stand medium kick. Very good move. You can use stand heavy kick. This one's a little more risky because you get drive impacted if people see it coming. Uh, whereas, I mean, that can happen with medium kick too, but it recovers faster, so you could drive impact back um, if they didn't like do it super early. Crouch medium kick, you know, counter poke, poke in general, and uh, crouch medium punch. And then my personal favorite, just stand light kick. Stand light kick, you buffer drive rush, and you get crouch jab into stand heavy punch. Yeah, I'm bad though. We blame leverless. Okay. Right, so you wait for someone to just whiff a move. And you get a you get a combo off just a light kick. Light kick's very low committal, you can just buffer the drive rush, right? One of my favorite with punishing moves. Very, very good. Um but yeah, I, th I I'm not a huge fan of stand heavy punch. I only I pretty much only use it to uh shimmy right now. If I think they're going to whip something, I'm more of a crouch medium punch abuser at the moment. I think crouch medium punch is really good. But in situations, you know, like this, I'm missing it, obviously. Crouch stand heavy punch might be better because it reaches a bit further. But it's just a little riskier to whiff. It's even riskier to unblock. Um, but yeah, that's about everything. If you want anything else, I personally don't think Hooligan is... I personally think Hooligan is a little bit of a gimmick still. Everyone is like, oh, it's going to be good. I'm like, it's always a fucking gimmick. Fast fall is okay. But I still feel like people just mash jab on you and you're not going to get much. Um, yeah, if there's anything else you want to know about Kami, let me know in the comments. If you learned something or want to learn something in the future, I'll be grinding Kami to Masters. Maybe we'll try to make some rank climb videos and streams. Um, and then I could teach you some new stuff as we learn more. But this should get you at least, you know, at least at the hit your diamond rank and, and, and so forth. I, because these are the main things Kami wants to do, right? She's a very snowball-y character. Good neutral, good walk speed, and then you get one with punish. All right, this is a very common thing. You know, you're just playing the game, you get one with punish, and now you're in their face, and you're doing all the stuff we talked about. So yeah, hope you learned something. See you later. Stay beautiful, my friends.